Well, okay. Uh, I think we're at like week six or something with this renovation and we're going strong today. I was able to get the, the shutters off of the house. Got the, the neighbor next door. He's a, a house cleaner, pr pr pressure washer guy. So he's gonna come f clean it for me. I don't have water at the house yet. So that's gonna save me a lot of time to get the water turned on, to not have to get the water turned on that is. This is dumpster number 11. We're finally just on construction debris. So we'll take you a little tour around the house. I'll tell you what my plan is. I finally sketched it out. Uh, so over here, we haven't done too much with this, but this is the old garage. I do have a thought of making this into a master ensuite, uh, primary bedroom, whatever you wanna call it these days. You know, in 10 years, we're gonna call it uh, the big bedroom, just because primary doesn't work anymore. A couple of problems with this room I have found, obviously where the garage door was, they didn't frame it right. This whole wall will shake uh, if I push it. It's just rotted out. Um, so that's gonna have to be completely reframed. I do love the ceiling height. We're probably close to nine feet in ceiling height. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but the, the little floor here, rainwater comes off the patio slab and comes washing right into this room. So I'm probably gonna have to pour a whole layer of concrete on top of the concrete, reframe, and then I can look at doing my drywall and air conditioning and outlets and all that great jazz. Doesn't really stop the problem of water coming in here. So I will probably have to cut out portion of this back patio to allow natural drainage. Otherwise I'd have to take the whole thing out and because it's just it's sloping towards the house. So I think I'm just gonna put in a drain along the building here and manage the water that way. So I'll take you into the house. And of course rebuild these stairs. This room I'm gonna remake into the laundry room. It was a laundry room. Take out some of these windows, raise the ceiling up. Kitchen, um, almost completely gutted. Still have a couple cabinets up. They're doing my internet and burglar alarm system. Got a friend coming on Sunday to collect this heavy sink. Man, that thing's cast iron, and boy, does it have some weight. But this kitchen, I'll see if I can get you a better angle. I'm gonna move the kitchen. And so the where this door is and to the left of the frame, we're gonna just make a hallway, walkway area. And to the right of that doorway is gonna become an ensuite bathroom for the bedroom up here. And so we'll use the existing doorway and move that as a you nice, know, it's about four feet wide. I know it might look small in the picture, but there'll be plenty of space for a stand up shower, toilet, and bathroom vanity. And then everything this way, we're gonna take out this studded wall move it back four feet towards me, and this will be the new kitchen. So we're gonna move the kitchen to the front of the house. This does a few things. It actually increases the kitchen size. When we take out the wall between the kitchen and the living room, we're gonna have a nice open floor plan. That one's not load bearing, so it's gonna be a very easy move. And that'll allow us to get a nice, big, beautiful kitchen up here, especially when you have four bedrooms. That'll give you plenty of space. So we finally got the carpet up in this area. You can really just see how bad the flooring was. This house, because it was built roughly 1950, 1955, there is no subfloor. So this hardwood flooring was installed directly on top of our floor joist perpendicular. Very common method back then. We then later moved on to a method of installing a subfloor or diagonal boards on top of the joists and then the hardwood floor installed on top of that. This house didn't have that, so our floors rotted out a lot easier. Bedrooms, not a lot of change probably since my last video. Bathroom, we finally got some good gutting down in that. Bathroom floor plan will more or less stay the same. I haven't decided yet if I want to refinish the bathtub or if I want to rip it out and put a new one in, but this will be the only bathtub I want to install in this house. And it'll, of course, be the shower enclosure. Uh, Reglazing is really not that hard and definitely a lot cheaper than putting a new one. And a fiberglass one would not hold up as well as that cast iron tub. Ripping out the drywall in this room, we found out this back wall was a lot worse than I had expected. 
So you can even see some light under that that window. A lot of rot. Uh, the studs have very little integrity left, so I'm gonna have to reframe pretty much from the corner of the house, probably to or about where the bathtub is, to be able to support the new window that's going in in that area, which is a nice expensive window. Golly, those windows were expensive. So with the new kitchen, it's gonna have this window incorporated into that new front kitchen area. And that'll be pretty pretty. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the floor plans. So if you look on the right side of this picture, you can see I've added the island and where the stove will be and removed a couple walls. I moved a wall for the, the kitchen side and, and you can see the new master ensuite in the hallway. We'll have to do that with a little video editing because I don't have, oh gosh, this pine tree uh, right ahead. I was talking to my neighbor the other day out here and we're, I was just looking at it, standing by it. First off, this pine tree is leaning over the house. So I've got my, my tree guy, it's on his list to, to come out and cut down this tree. But then I found out that it had termites, live termites in the, in the tree. So that didn't make me happy. We had a couple windstorms recently and it did hold, but it's got a decent lean to it. Even in that, just that first 10, you can kind of see how that lean is and that goes above the house. Uh, so he's gonna take out that tree and then that big one. I'm not looking forward to that price tag, of course. And they saved all these trees up by the, the road for me, by my request. Uh, all that will get cleared out eventually and just leave some of those bigger trees and we'll lay a sod. But right now that just giving us a little buffer. People driving by don't see just how ugly the house is. Yeah, cleared off the front porch. Man, there are huge stacks of tile up here, um, 18 by 18 inch tile. And they were just like showroom samples. No, no three tiles matched. It was just, so no one really wanted to save them. No one wanted to use them. Had one friend ask about it, but he never, never did get them. And it's probably better that way because it would have been worse than a chessboard. All new windows for the front are ordered. I can't wait to get those. Still, still debating on the color of the house. Uh, I own a couple other houses in the neighborhood and I painted those white. And I don't want to just buy a house and paint it white. Uh, I'm thinking about going black on this house. Uh, that's kind of the new trendy and have that that light wood or a teak wood accent. Uh, so leave a comment what color you think I should paint the brick of the house. Uh, and if I like it, I might use it. If a hundred people say, go ahead and paint it white, I might just go ahead and paint it white. The windows that I've ordered are vinyl with black facing the outside. So keep that in mind. I'm not repainting those windows. <laughs> I paid a little bit extra to have that nice little accent. Oh gosh, forgot about the bus, the, the little Dodge van over here. Uh, Great American Pickers, I guess we can call the our nice friend that. He's been picking at this. He's got two thirds of the van gone. He says he's coming back today to get that last third. Boy, that's... He had to borrow my extension cord to plug in his reciprocating saw. Came back the next day, the extension cord was gone. So when I taken it, wasn't me. Claims it wasn't him. Kind of believe him. But yeah, do you think I should start a GoFundMe? Because this project's getting getting expensive.